Hello everyone and welcome to English Language Academy. Advanced English for today is conversation phrases. So, for example, let's say you are having a conversation and you're not quite sure which phrase to use to express yourself. Well, here we have a few, so let's take a look. We can tell somebody else, I'm a little nervous to be speaking to you right now. So just don't mind, right? I'm a little nervous. Bear with me means to um, ask this, the, the, the listener, like, please understand, bear with me. English is not my first language, right? Uh, if they ask you a question, you can say, I'm not sure about that actually, but I can find out. Or if you have something that you don't remember, you say, it's on the tip of my tongue that maybe you've forgotten a word or how to say something and the listener will understand that you're having trouble finding the right word, they might help you. Um, you can say, oh, I had something I wanted to say, mm, but I forgot what it was. Very common. Uh, I say this often as well. <laughs> um, so the listener will understand that, oh, okay, maybe later you'll remember it. So if you're listening on a conversation and you want to add something, you say, ooh, do you mind if I jump in? And they'll say yes or no. Um, you can also start a question. I hope you don't mind me asking, but where did you get your nails done? <laughs> right? Things like this. It can be very harmless. It doesn't have to be a serious question, but this is a very polite way to ask. Uh, this happens often to me, even though I'm a teacher, <laughs> I should be ashamed. Um, you can say, my apologies, I seem to have forgotten your name. Can you tell me again, please? Usually people are absolutely fine about it. They don't feel bad that you've forgotten their name and they're willing to tell you it again. So if somebody starts a conversation about a topic that you're not familiar with, you can say, I must admit this is a little beyond me, meaning I'm not quite sure what we're talking about and discussing. So maybe don't include me. Or you can say, ah, sorry, I'm afraid I don't follow you, right? You don't understand where they're going in the conversation and you just have lost your way. Uh, you can say, I don't know enough about this topic to be able to contribute much to the discussion. Right? That's another way of saying, like, I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> right? But it's, it's, it's very, it's, it's to advance your English. Right? To add more onto just saying, I don't know. I don't know enough about this topic to be able to contribute much to the discussion. So these are also phrases to help you um, boost your speaking as well. So it's pretty hard to express my ideas about this topic in English, but I will try. So the listener understands that English is not your first language and that they're going to um, give you more patience <laughs> this way as well. So if they seem to have not understood you or taken it the wrong way, you can say, I'm so sorry, my message must have gotten lost in translation. Let me explain again. Because sometimes when we're going from one language to another, things kind of get mixed up and maybe what we say is not what we meant to say. So this is a good way to apologize and try again. Um, so if somebody asks you about a topic that you're uncomfortable with, you can say, to be honest, I don't feel like talking about this right now. And they will understand. Nobody will be offended. Or uh, you can say, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble understanding. Can you say that again? Uh, I think we've got our wires crossed, meaning I think we're misunderstanding each other and that we're not having <laughs> a very fruitful conversation, that you don't understand me and I don't understand you. Our wires got crossed. Um, so if you really want to say something, you can say, oh, can I interrupt you here? Usually it's fine to do so. I don't think of, I've been in a situation where it was offensive. You can just say, oh, can I interrupt? And the person will say yes or no, because sometimes people just talk and talk and talk. <clears throat> 
And speaking of, if you start talking and you forget what you were talking about, you say, oh, anyway, getting back to what we started talking about, I blah, 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 blah. So, oh, before I forget, yeah, it's to tell the other person, I've got something I want to say. So, a very nice and polite way to end any conversation that you may think is taking too long or has taken too much time, you say, well, anyway, it's best I be off. It was great chatting with you. And that's a perfect way to end a conversation because that tells the speaker that you had a good time chatting with them, but you have to go. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this. I love these conversation phrases. Really, I do. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you stay informed about all of our great new videos coming out. See you next time. Bye-bye.